I'm going to talk about the hot potatoes here. Um, I've done my questions up in advance and I'll just have them off to the side. When you start hot, hot potatoes, this is what you get. Uh, it produces four types of, five types of quizzes. The close, which is a missing word in a sentence. Matching, uh, mixed up sentences, crossword puzzles, and multiple choice short answer is the quiz. You can save them as separate files and then you can use the masher to combine the different files so you can have different types. Well, I'm going to do something simple. I'm going to do a quiz. This comes up. Now, when you're done, you can export it for uh, WebCT. You can create a web page. There's a variety of things. I'm just going to dump it to a web page. Um, from the web page, the students can only do it as a self-test. Uh, there's no way to gather information. Anyway, you need to give it a title, which in this case is going to be learning theories. And then you give it a question. Uh, which in this case is which two learning theories focus on student experiences as an important feature of learning. So then I can give it a possible answer and I can give it what to say if they choose that answer, which in this case that's wrong, so I'll tell them they're half right. Um, that one's completely wrong. When you're doing your responses, you want to do New to what are called neutral negatives. Don't say wrong. Um, that doesn't do anybody any good. Um, so uh, try to avoid that. Now this one is right. So I'll tell it it's correct. Now when you can set these up so the questions are not always in the same order. So, so there's my first question. And uh, I'll just go to question two. Uh, if I wanted to, I could change it to short answer, hybrid, whatever. Uh, so the second one is which learning theory doesn't match the objective. Now, uh, so here, then I give an objective and a learning theory. Um, now, this is fairly complex, so I want to talk about why they work or why that answer is not right. So, another objective and a learning theory. God help you if you'd had to watch me typing these. Let's make 
sure it's boring enough just watching me do this. Now, be careful if you have a negative. Make sure it stands out, because um, that will set up people. They're normally looking for a right answer. Hopefully, they'll realize, hey, these are all right, and reread the question. OK, so this one is not correct. So now I'm ready to save it. And as usual, I'll save it to my desktop just so I have it. Well, actually, I could save it into Ed Tech, just for the heck of it. Okay, so now I'm ready to export it. And to my web page, which is on Hammer. Ed Tech week four and save it there. Now I can do something. I can upload it to the Hot Potatoes website if I choose to. If you don't have your own website, that's what you would do. Or I can just view it in my browser and my browser comes up and shows me the first test and of two. So that's how you use hot potatoes. It's very simple, um, handy, quick for student self-tests.